What's that? You better have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> When you build your body up a certain way, uh -huh. and then you use the tools that you're given, I think that's when you can become like special. How different is it being in the situation this year compared to last year, mentally and physically for you? Um, I think it's great just being able to have a full off season where I can actually train and work out and you know kind of do the things I love to do as far as like just football is concerned you know last year dealing with injury and a bunch of rehab and not being able to kind of do the things that you want to do kind of takes a toll on you but it's been real good to be able to get back to what I like doing. Coach Tomlin, Cam Hayward have said the best is yet to come under the circumstances you know you played through last year. Sure. Was this a natural decision to do business again with the Steelers? Um, it felt natural. You know, I, I think they took you know great care of me. They understood my situation. They always told me they weren't nearsighted in this, and that meant a lot to me. Just coming from the situation I was prior, but I mean, they welcomed me with open arms. They allowed me to develop and, and grow into a system. And obviously, we were being I've been rivals with them my whole career, so it's kind of funny. But being able to come here and, and see the the culture and you know what they're building here, you, I understood that was special. It was something I wanted to be a part of. Is it what you heard it was, or is it maybe even better? Or different? I think it's better. Okay. I, I, you get it, like you hear on the outside, especially being on the other side for you know six years, well five years, and then coming here my sixth year. But being around it and seeing it, you kind of understand what the culture, what the Steelers mean. You know, like that that hard nosed football. That that standard is a standard. Like you hear about it, but then when you experience it, it's totally different. You know, I'm excited. Hey. In terms of mini camp, I know it's still not pads, but mm -hmm. did you guys take it up a notch compared to the first 10 OTAs? Um, I think it's, I think the intensity continues to gradually increase, and I think that's just from guys getting more comfortable, understanding roles, you know, understanding where they fit, you know, in and out, and just you know the nature of just what we do. You know, it's the culture around here. As you know, as we continue to progress and move this train forward, you know, guys are getting more apt to what they got to do, their assignment, you know, where they fit. And you just play faster, you play more physically, the energy's high, you mm -hmm. know. It's great football weather, so you really can't complain. So I think guys are, you know, meshing well. You know, they understand that this is kind of that, that exclamation point, and it's kind of that dry run before we go into training camp. So I think guys are, you know, getting the feel for everything. Do you let yourself get a little excited about what this team, the defense specifically, could be? Or are you like Cam, where you're like, it's June, there's not pads, like, talk to Yeah, I'm true. very, like... Even, even kill. kill. <laughs> I think it's like exciting for me to just be able to be on the field again, you know, to, to do OTAs, to be around the guys, to, to run around, to play, to work on my craft and all that kind of stuff. It's just exciting for me. And I, I thank God every day for it. Who's somebody on the defense? It could be any spot that we should look forward to seeing in Latrobe. Um, I say 95, you know, you know, the the young. I just think that his, his skill set, what he's able to do, how he moves, you know, I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. I, I'm just really excited to watch him work. He has that explosion. He's quick. He's twitchy. Um, like I give him high praises, but I just I just see it. You know, and I see a kid who wants to work, who wants to you know be great. And like I said before, I feel like he has a super high ceiling. So I think he hangs around the right guys, and he's going to be you know, he's going to be good. Going through what you went through last year with the injuries, just your love for football. Can you take us back to when you fell in love with this sport and realized this is something that could carry on through your life? Uh, that was probably when I was like a sophomore in college, going from like 350 the summer of my sophomore year to like 247 the summer of my junior year. Only when I started playing football is because my mom had took away my Xbox. So I was like a <laughs> beast kid growing up. But we had an awards banquet after I, you know, went through the team and all that kind of stuff. And they called my name. And that was the first time in my life where I felt like I earned something that I worked for. So it gave me the, the realization like, yo, I can do this. My parents are immigrants. So we didn't know about scholarships or none of that stuff. But I asked my coach what I needed to do. He said you had to get faster, you had to get stronger, you had to perfect your technique. So I just mm -hmm. continued to, to work and hone and work. And eventually I had like, my senior had like five scholarship offers. Obviously went to UNC Charlotte. It was an opportunity to be the first. Yeah. They never had a football team. Um, really, I was just going to school for computer science and biology. 
and ended up being the first player we drafted. So I, I just think the, the game of football has done so many things for me. You know, it's opened so many doors for me. I just I was just able to buy my parents a house, you know, two weeks ago. I saw that. In my hometown. So it's very cool. I've just been extremely blessed and I can't thank God enough. So so you're thankful your mom took that Xbox? Yes, very thankful. <laughs> Probably not at the time. No, no, I was, uh, I was definitely yelling and mad and upset, but I, I think that's what having, you know, the right people. I, I've, I've been blessed with great parents, you know, they've, they've never asked for me for anything, but they just saw something in me, they put me in the right situation, and you know, God just took care of the rest, so. All right, thanks for your time, really appreciate no it. No problem, my pleasure.